Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's the 18th of, set of uh, October 2023. And I am up potting my little seedlings, my little artichokes. It's the Tavor artichoke. I planted them on the 2nd of October. Today's the 18th, and you can see little seedlings and I'm not positive but I think this is the high mowing this is where I got them from and I believe there were 10 seeds that I planted so um, it's possible that some more are going to sprout but maybe not and they were packed in 2021 if I remember right I, I looked at it the other night to remind myself the packet because I save all my packets for far longer than I probably should but yeah and I'm going to do something with the uh, peas today these are the sugar peas it's a mammoth melting sugar pea and these are the they're a dwarf they're Desiree and that's um blowing shuckers i guess i'm not sure how you say that and then these are the they're like a regular green pea the mondo yeah you know we call sweet peas like those you know green peas sweet peas but you know little i didn't know this for a long time that's why i think some people may not when you say sweet pea it's some of us don't mean the kind you eat. The sweet peas that are the flowers are very poisonous. Not sure who all knows that, but I thought I'd add it in this video. Oh, all my flowers are open over there. I gotta walk over there and show you. Yeah, I went to town this morning and got pot and soil and some groceries. Look at that. I just think uh, sweet potato flowers are so pretty. Leaves are really washed out looking though. They're not bright green. Because I didn't do anything to these. They volunteered here from last year. And I've just let them be. It won't be long. I'll move the move my table that they've taken over. And I'll just mow it, cut it down, and then dig some and see what I got. Maybe this weekend. So, it's beautiful. I love this weather. I got this loaded up. I'm going to go out there and get those in the ground. And these are the ones I potted up last night. I noticed, though, I, I had a little bit of pot and soil left from last spring. And I've had it in a, that um, metal can. I, I, use my, I don't use them for garbage. I use them for a lot of things. Like, I got one in the house that's got his dog food and all his treats in. Um, I've got a, more in the house that's got a lot of my, like, beans and rice and stuff like that. I keep, you know, my chips and my pastas and all that in those. I've been doing that for years because I've always lived in sort of a rural environment and have a mouse problem most of the time, at least for a little while until I get them under control and I don't want them getting in my food stuff. That's still so nice. I did take off my sweater though put on a, a light sleeve shirt. I'm about to take the covers off of all these and probably kind of see if they need watering again. Once I get my fall garden under control, then I'm going to start working on the house again. Maybe finish up out front. <laughs> What's the matter, bub? Uh, you itchy? 
something bites you. He's an itchy dog. Must have been in the, our family. <laughs> We're all itchy. Gotta have back scratchers. Well, this is what I got. I done cut the top down already. What you doing, huh? You wanna go in? <laughs> you want a treat? Say what you want? I guess I'll let y'all go. And thank you for watching. And I'll show more after I get my garden uh, a little bit more done out there. I need to put up some um, posts on the ends and run some uh, wire for my blueberries before I move them. I was going to move them yesterday evening, but decided to go ahead and get my posts and everything up first. So, thank you again for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'd like it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. And come back again. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. They go back quite a ways. Um, like and comment and share.